Hello, everyone. Woohoo! Welcome to our party. <laughs> <laughs> we'll party if nobody's here or not, right? We just have a lot of fun. We will. We will. We're we're gathering. We're gathering people in as we're going here. We're. Uh, we're so happy if you're joining us live. We're also recording this. We're streaming this. It's on Facebook. It's on YouTube. It's on G+. Where is it? Where aren't we? Well, you know, we could actually stream this on Twitter. It's a little bit of a ninja trick, but we could do it too. But, you know, I just uh, kept it in these two, I think. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I'm, I, gotta... <laughs> I can hear myself. <laughs> Are you? I know. I have got too many. Uh, are you hearing all these? Oh yeah. These parties. All right. Just, I had too many screens open with our delayed <laughs> our delayed party information. That's okay. That's okay. More of a party. Exactly. Exactly. Even if it is only my voice, right? <laughs> So we're we're super excited. I'm trying to monitor everything as we're going along here. I'm monitoring the uh, Facebook page. Uh, we're monitoring Google Plus. We're we're gonna open it up for some questions coming up soon. But uh, we just want to talk about a few things related to social media management. And you know, this is all about just asking your questions too. If you have questions about so being a social media manager, um, definitely. Ask those. We're going to review the, the app that we're doing right now. We're going to show you what we're doing with that, how that works a little bit. And, um, and then we're going to give you a sneak peek into Social Media Manager School. And we've got prizes. Yeah, that's the best part. We have prizes. We have a lot of cool things we're giving away um, every few minutes throughout the hour. And you need to be here, I think, to get the prize. So if you're watching the replay, we're sorry, but this is for our live audience. But we'll, I'm sure we're going to have a ton of stuff that you can get a lot out of all during this hour. So that's cool. Yep, absolutely. So if you do have questions now, feel free to put them into the chat either on Facebook or on on Google Plus. We're monitoring that, and um, you know, otherwise we're just going to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what we do so well. It's our it's our our highest gift, is it? <laughs> That's great. So what we wanted to first start out with some uh, talking about scheduling because that is and time kind of time management. How do you manage your time as a social media manager? You know, with with getting all the content out there. How do you make sure that you're um, optimizing your time to be most efficient, not wasting too much time poking around, following links, and uh, and because time is money, right? That's right, and you can really drop down into the rabbit hole when you're doing uh, things on social media. And so, as a social media manager, you absolutely have to have um, a good set of tools for scheduling. And I'll just tell you what I use today just to schedule this because, you know, there are a lot of social dashboards out there that provide scheduling tools. The fact is, you really shouldn't have a social dashboard unless it has scheduling built into it. But Twitter itself has a fabulous scheduling tool built right into it. Facebook itself has this fabulous tool built into it. And then also you have um, Hootsuite, which is in a, you know one on our top uh, 10 tools list, right? where you can schedule all of it. And so today you'll see I'm tweeting all during this hour by the magic of the Hootsuite scheduling tool. And, uh, and as a social media manager, that should be on your top tools list, in my opinion. Right. Yeah, and the nice thing about Hootsuite is if you get the pro version, you can uh, bulk upload all your tweets. And so you write them out. This is what I do. I've done with my clients. I You can write them out um, into an Excel spreadsheet and just upload them, and, and they're good to go. And you've got them all set. And then you've got that record in your Excel spreadsheet where you can just copy and paste if you want to, you know, if you want to... Um, have tweets go out multiple times, you know, that kind of thing, or just make little adjustments and, and put that tweet in again. Um, so that's a really great, great way to s automate things. I have uh, to tell you, that tool, that bulk upload tool inside of 
um, Hootsuite Pro has transformed my business. It really has. Because when we talk to our clients, and I know you do this too, um, yes, Twitter has to have some push marketing in it these days. It's just kind of the way it is. But that also frees up your time to be there live so that you can have conversations with people. Because those are the two things you really need uh, to really um, gain the benefit of a social site, and that's the automated and the live conversations in any social site, not just Twitter, but, but especially on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, so we've got so we've got a few. I'm just giving a couple of shouts out. We've got uh, Malia here. She said she's glad to be here. Terry's looking forward to the event. Hi guys, just giving me a live shout out there. A um, couple other things that I wanted to t uh, scheduling tools that I wanted to mention that are kind of cool that have some really cool features are Social Oomph, and that's at socialoomph.org. Dot com. Oomph. You got to really Oomph. say it, Andrea. Oomph. Oomph. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's interesting. That was one of the first tools I used way many years ago yeah. when I first started doing this work, a long time ago. And it's one of the ones that's really stuck around. A lot of things have come and gone. Yeah, Lots of things have been built, but that one's still here. Yeah. One of the, one of the things I like about social oomph is that you can, you know, easily. Up. Oh. Come back, you're frozen. I'll repeat the, am I? Oh, you can have a library of things. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'll just keep talking. <laughs> so you can have a library of things to draw from and, and kind of, uh, um, you know, build up your library in social oomph um, for, for things that you might want to tweet later. Um, another new tool that is kind of intriguing and interesting is called Meet Ed Edgar. Now this is a kind of a, I, I forget what the monthly fee is on it, but this is a tool that was developed by Ro Laura Roeder and it is, uh, it is an interesting, the interesting feature of this tool is that you, you do have like kind of buckets that you draw from, that you put categories in, and then it kind of automates it through those buckets of tweets that you've got kind of built up. And you can, you can uh, draw in RSS feeds so that you're automatically tweeting out from, uh, from certain blogs that you follow, your own blog, and, and actually all of these have, have some capability of that um, Hootsuite, Social yes. oomph. Um, so it's nice to have that feature. But Meet Edgar does it um, a little bit differently where it kind of puts it into different categories. So you're kind of segmenting the types of tweets that you're. you're automating. So, Phyllis, are you frozen now or are you just smiling? <laughs> I'm frozen. That, I'm, I'm smiling that you were frozen. But uh, <laughs> I'm going to switch it over to you. <laughs> no, well, the thing, the thing that's very cool about all of these systems is once you find one that really works for you, you don't have to go out and get five, six, seven, eight other ones. Right. And we always advise our students to just find the tool that works for them and their clients and then really master that one. And don't get lost in the 200 tools list that are so popular online. Um, right. And and the other thing too is that you know we're taking questions during this whole thing and we're doing having like giveaways and parties and stuff. So um, I think we're getting close to giving something away in just a few minutes. I think we are. We are we are super excited to give this away. We're going to give away my book, which is right here. Oh, it's such a little <laughs> tiny book. It's a little tiny book. It's actually not a little tiny book. I'm going to go. You should go get it because oh my gosh, it's huge. It's bigger than when we wrote it. Of course, now, Andrew, you're frozen with your butt to the screen, which is oh. always so much fun with a party. Oh, you know what? Hey, let's just let's just <laughs> let's just get this party started. <laughs> oh my goodness! I, I hope I come back soon. Yeah, it's 765 pages oh, long. Oh my god! It's uh, show the I side view. Frozen? The side view? Yeah. So it's it's very <laughs> thick. Very thick, and I am going to sign it for you. It's actually the it, this is super updated. It just came out in August, and so far no major changes. So I'm really happy. <laughs> still, still valid after after a month and a half or two months, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, when you and I and Anne, Amy Porterfield wrote the first book, um, we were like the final editing for all the chapters, and then Facebook changed like everything. 
uh, the format for personal yep. and pages and all of that, and we just went, hold the press. I mean, literally, we said hold the press. And we yeah. took it back, and we did the final editing and got that out, and it, it was current for a few months, yep. and it was great. You yeah. Know? <laughs> So we're going to we're going to give this a signed copy away, and we have a uh, we have a winner. Laura is um, telling us that Malia Bishop Allard won the signed hot off the press copy. Um, and am I blank? Am I am I in here? Can you see me? I'm, yes. All right. Good. Um, so Malia, congratulations and. If you can just message us at support at social media manager school and w give us your address, we'll get this sent out to you. So congrats there, yay yay. So you know it's really interesting because uh, that we give this one away first. Yeah. Because inside of social media manager school, and I'm just going to pull that up and you can highlight it if you want. Um, inside our social media manager school, we have two places where we really pull out the Facebook information. One is the uh, basics, where we go into a little bit about, and here it comes. A little, we have actually a lot about Facebook in here. There's a lot about Facebook in the basics because, um, you know, Facebook is the king gorilla, so we have to have to do that. But also, we have a lot inside of one of our modules and we're going to be showing you through some of these modules in the next few minutes but the one place that stands out to me is in module 5 when we do these advanced social tasks and there's a whole lot of information in here about Facebook advertising and all sorts of wonderful things in here and so that's just kind of a little bit about Facebook inside of Social Media Manager School. Yeah. So um, awesome, yeah. We're giving you guys a sneak peek here too. While while we're uh, while we're um, giving giving you all this great information, and I'm gonna give you a little hint on on uh, winning these prizes. Is the more you comment, the more likely you are to win. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. So we have. I have a question that's the difference between the fee-based Hootsuite and the free version. And you, yes, you do get the bulk upload and the reports uh, with the, with the uh, fee-based Hootsuite. You also get the ability to add more team members. So if you are collaborating with others, maybe it's the business owner, maybe it's uh, other people on your team, then you are going to want that, that fee-based uh, version of, of Hootsuite. So, yeah. So, good, good. All right, so Malia says, yeah. Yeah, we've got a, a nice little group over on G Plus, too, having a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. So say hi to us on G Plus, that would be great, because we're going to be flipping around between the two um, platforms uh, for the prizes today. So, we are. Uh, yeah, it's not like you get a, a, an, an e easier chance of winning if you're participating in one place. We're equal opportunity here. <laughs> Even though I like to, we got we got kind of a divided camp here between Phyllis G, G plus more. I'm more Facebooky. Yeah, I saw my post this morning. I said, "Game on!" We have <laughs> just about the same amount of people um, RSVP'd on both platforms. Yeah, yeah, so that was kind of cool. Yeah, so good. So Joanne says, "Woohoo, Malia!" Awesome. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. So, so did we we cover uh, scheduling tools enough? If you have questions about yeah. what scheduling yeah. tool that you use as a social media right. manager, um, ask it in either Facebook or in the G Plus comments, and we can absolutely go over that some more. Yeah, I actually want to cover a couple of other extra um, scheduling tools because Hootsuite um, and uh, Social Oomph and some of these others only schedule out to like uh, Facebook, Twitter, and um, and to LinkedIn, LinkedIn. Um, some do also do G plus as well. Uh, but I want to pages, pages, right? Pages only. Yeah. And um, so I want to cover scheduling a Facebook particular scheduling tool. One that I really like is Post Planner. I like it because they have a really great interface in Post Planner where you can you know pull in content you can um, you can again pull in RSS feeds from there and then just like schedule them out or post them right away I think the 
the post planner updates appear more naturally to me in that you know sometimes the Hootsuite scheduling appears as like a Hootsuite link it doesn't always pull in that preview sometimes it just depends um, so I like Post Planner for scheduling out on, on Facebook as well, as well as the Facebook scheduling tool. I think that's a great tool for sure. Um, but I do like Post Planner because they give you some ideas in there. You can get content ideas. You can look at, the other thing I love about Post Planner is that you can look at the uh, most viral photo of competitors' pages. Woohoo! <laughs> I know. So that's a great way to spy on the competition and see what's done well for them and then say, you know what, how can we either do something similar or or do something do it maybe better? And and so this gives you an opportunity to see what's working for other com competitors with post planner. So I would definitely recommend you go in and uh, and and check that out. Hey, we should have uh, had Post Planner buy some advertising space on this. I thing. know, I know. We have room right here, over here. <laughs> <I think. laughs> now, we like to look at all the tools. We, we test them all out. That's a really important point. Uh, Andrea and I, we feel like we're like the, the scientists in the lab and we go and test everything out and then we can recommend or we can uh, advise against certain tools. It's uh, very important for the people who come to Social Media Manager School to feel like they have some place where they can ask and ask for other people's experience. And inside our Facebook group, our private Facebook group for the school, I mean that's probably about 40% of the questions and conversations are back and forth about tools. Yeah, for sure. It's a lot of a lot of people saying, "Have you tried this?" You know, there's all there's new tools coming out all the time, and we do review them all. Um, but you know, a lot of times it is a matter of people saying, "Hey, I've tried it. It's great. I like it." You know, or whatever. Now so, I want to show you a little bit inside before we get to the next yeah. um, the next prize, and that is I want to show you inside of module three because inside module three. Uh, talking about tools is that we do have our top tools list in there but we also recommend there are only nine categories of tools you need as a social media manager. There's only nine categories so uh, for example you need a scheduling tool, you need a social dashboard for reports, you need an invoicing tool, you need a uh, editorial calendar tool and so those nine types of tools Inside of those, there are literally could be hundreds of companies building products inside of those categories. Mm -hmm. So um, we try to just narrow it down and you find the best tool in each of those nine categories and then you're good to go. So here's another yeah. little look um, inside of Module 3. It's all about organizing your own time and there's lots and lots of stuff in here, lots of extra documents, um, Excel sheets, training on how to use those Excel sheets, how to find good content for your clients, all sorts of good stuff in there and um, and there's a lot of fun inside of Module 3, one of my favorite modules. I, I tell you, I, I always forget how much is in there. I'm like, oh, yeah. wow, that that's is awesome. <laughs> Gee, you should join Social Media Manager yeah. School, Andrea. I know. It's I love it. I love it. This is and this is the reason we built Social Media Manager School. This was the type of school, the type of course we wanted when we were starting. And it wasn't out there. And I I feel like it really isn't still out there except for our course. I've seen a lot of other social media manager courses and uh, classes out there and I don't feel like they give quite the same mix that we provide here mm -hmm. because we really combine how to build your business, how to set up your business the right way so that you don't have to go out and research. Let's see, do I, you know, what? How do I even get this done? How do I um, name my business? What kind of, how, where do I even find logos or whatever? How does that even work? So we we have put all of that into one school along with the social media uh, lessons and things to help you save time and things to help you do quotes and things to help you, um, you know, figure out how to price your services and what services to even offer. So we uh, it's a really unique blend of social media training 
as well as business building techniques. Yeah, absolutely. I think that it's a very nice combination and one that you don't see out in the marketplace, and we're very thrilled about it. Um, we have a question over on G+. Ding, awesome. ding, ding, ding. <laughs> awesome. And lots of comments over there, so uh, maybe that's where this we next have, prize will go. Too. We have a couple um, of questions yes. on Facebook, too. Yeah, oh, good. So I'll do the one from G Plus first. Okay. Um, here's one from Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hello. <laughs> um, would love to learn more about setting up an email campaign for collecting leads. I know that MailChimp and Constant Contact can help with this, but does the landing page get connected with your website and Facebook, or is this a separate? Da, 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 da. There's like all of these moving parts, right? Right. And the most important thing to remember, Lisa, is that you absolutely, definitely have to have an email system set up for yourself and your clients. That has to happen. And as far as which system to use, we talk about those tools inside of Social Media Manager School and help people help you decide over in the Facebook group. Um, the nice thing about that is that the more you do it, the more you learn. Mm. Um, and I can remember the first time that I did an email campaign uh, or a campaign to build my email list and I was scared to death. Um, honestly, I was. But now I have a system set up and I have content that I give away for free in exchange for an email address and then I just make sure that I'm always sharing really great content every time I send out my newsletter. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it's, a, it's a simple system but it's something that you have to do. You can't go and exchange, uh, give somebody something for their email address and then just let it sit. It's, that's only half of the equation for building an email list. So, um, again, we could talk about just this one thing yeah, for like I know. an hour. I know that's so true, so true. But we have other questions. So, yes. I know there's lots of lots of good things, and we do talk about um, email campaigns. Um, one of the one of the tools that you can possibly use is lead pages to set up that opt-in. There's Optimize Press that also helps you set up opt-ins on WordPress sites. So those are kind of some options for, for having gathering those um, leads. Yeah, and you have to be really clear what you're offering and, Let me, and, and know all of that. Yes, another question. Yes, another question. Um, and then I think it's almost time to give away a, another yeah. prize. Uh, so uh, Malia asked, what are good invoicing tools? Mm -hmm. um, oh, and I have two, two questions too here. So um, good invoicing tools are uh, one of the ones that we like a lot is FreshBooks. That's a great tool. It's very easy to use and it's free for a certain Level. Number of clients, right? Yeah. If, you, if you keep it under a certain number of clients, it's free, and it's they they have been really updating and redesigning their whole system in the last couple of years, so that you can completely integrate this with your accountant if you have an accountant, so that they accountant can go in and just get what they want, and you don't have to deal with it. Um, wow. I love this system; highly recommend it. Yeah, and then some other tools are things like QuickBooks. You know that can work too. Um, it, you know, it, it's nice because then you've got all your um, all your uh, expenses and things in there as well. It's it's a very complete system. Um, you can put your expenses in FreshBooks now. Oh, nice! I yes. didn't know that. Yes, very nice. Wow, wow cool. <laughs> another another tool or another tool another question coming in from Natasha she says does Facebook not favor third party scheduling tools in regards to the amount of people you'd like to reach reach now that was happening that was happening more often is that um, it was kind of restricting those third party uh, postings and that is not happening to our um, to our experience in, anymore uh, so that is nice. Um, but I think you know you always want to watch and do your own testing and make make sure that's the true for you. You know you, you monitor what your reach is without the scheduling. Monitor what it is with the scheduling. See if you're noticing a difference if that's if that is happening. I've never noticed a difference with the Facebook um, native schedule. Oh, Lisa, you're frozen. A prize. Woohoo! So this, we're going to be giving away um, a seat in my Facebook ads course. Woohoo! Awesome. I'm super excited. I love my Facebook ads course. And it is worth $127, and it is going out to Heather Brown. Heather Brown. Yay, congratulations. So, awesome. 
And remember how to um, pick up that prize. You need to send Heather. You need to send an email to support at socialmediamanagerschool.com. Thank you very much. Yep, and then we'll get that all the details uh, sent out to you. And Laura is saying she loves fresh books too. Yeah. <laughs> we have Laura, our uh, fabulous uh, uh, person help on our team, helping out, picking out the prizes, picking out the winners. So we are we are impartial parties here on that. <laughs> So awesome. So let's get into some other question other questions that we have. Do we have some other questions? Let's see coming in. Let me just double check. So no, I don't see anything in wait, did I miss something? Good invoicing tools. People are saying they gotta check out Post Planner. Hey, give give Post Planner a shout out that we gave them all this uh, gave them all this love here. So tell them we sent you. <laughs> So, um, Phyllis, are you frozen? Are you are you monitoring the chat here? I I'm I'm. It was my yes. head down. I was yes. head down trying head to head down do, working, trying yeah. to do stuff. Working it, baby. I have three screens no, going have, today. You should see our war rooms here. We have <laughs> we have screens all over. We're chatting. We're talking. We're monitoring. I'm well, not, I took a picture for Instagram this morning, but I only showed the two screens. But I actually have three going right now. I do so. too. I do too. Why don't we Why don't we talk a little bit more about um, the school and give people a little bit more sneak peek into sure. the advanced uh, section of the school? All right. So um, let's go there. I am sharing it now. So we actually we still have a few slots available for the um, the advanced portion of the school and we have a, a couple of different levels. We have the home study which means that you are it's self-paced. You go through the modules as they roll out one per week and then we have the um, then we have um, the Facebook group along with that all the bonuses and we haven't shown the bonuses yet either so we got to Oh my gosh we <laughs> know. I know. So um, then our, on our premium membership this is for more advanced users or are people who are looking to grow their business a little bit faster. These are advanced templates that you can use and charge uh, thousands of dollars for advanced strategy, social media strategy for your clients. And it includes Phyllis's high level client proposals. Um, I have my marketing strategy uh, templates that you just switch out and change to include information for your client and we, we highlight all those sections and tell you kind of what give you ideas on what kind of content to put in and again you know it's it's templates that are that are you know can be conf uh, set up however you want them but it's a good place to start and it'll save you I mean, literally, I don't Oh, yeah. 20, just 30, 40 hours of work. I oh, mean, easily, just, easily, easily. Yeah, and then we have three webinars that are for the, our premium people, premium and platinum people, um, to join where we talk about these high, higher level documents and answer their particular questions about their particular business situation. And these are 90 minutes long and we do three of them every time we open the school and this is for our premium group. So between the extra webinars and the templates, that's a really good deal for all of that. It is, it is. So we have a few more slots yet. I haven't checked um, the, uh, I haven't checked yet to see if we've uh, yeah, filled we those do, up today, but yeah, I think they will yeah. fill up today if they're not. Uh, yeah, because we do cap that because we want to have a little more personal experience with our premium and platinum people, and so we want to make sure we get to all of their questions. So yeah. we can't have hundreds and hundreds of people in there every time, or else Andrea and I would be at the funny farm. <laughs> what? Well, we're close anyway. I, you know, <laughs> that would be the tipping point right there. Yes, it would. <laughs> so you were talking about bonuses. You want to go look at bonuses? Yeah, let's go look at bonuses and then we have a couple of more questions coming in. Super. So Amy Porterfield has given us her uh, ultimate editorial guide and this is a great guide to help you find uh, how to how to set up your editorial calendar, how to find content, um, put uh, put that content in there for your client, and you all of these things. The nice thing about all of these things is you can use them for yourself too. It's 
you know, yourself, your own content, and your clients' content. So right. definitely a great. We need to trade out Amy's picture. I'll do a we little, do. little oh, more I recent do. one. Yeah, we do. We'll we have do. to have to tell her about that. Yeah. And then we have these incredible things from Andrea. She has these great eBooks about how to use Facebook to grow your business and how to use Twitter to grow your business. She, we have extra webinars in there from her. And look at this. Um, you know, there's some really cool things in here from Andrea, and I have some nice marketing checklists, and I also have some other things that we give away on our bonuses. Um, we have coupons off for certain programs, and we have, um, oh, let's talk about Isaac stuff. Isaac has some great bonuses in there for a social media manager. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has some really great stuff. He's got the uh, uh, marketing agreement, which that comes up quite often, where you want to have an agreement between you and your client, and you want to know what kinds of um, things need to be in place, how much notice they need to give you, if they are going to terminate their contract, um, and, and also even a contract for employment. If you are hiring someone, that's a great thing for you to have. Um, also, a really fantastic proposal template. I love that proposal template because it's right. really plug and play. You just put in your standard rates and you select whatever you want to um, quote, and it pops it in there. So it's really easy to make proposals, fa you know, custom proposals, really fast. Right, and. And then we have, she's been a really great partner with us this time on our launch, and she, oh my gosh, she created this entire program just for our group that teaches you how to build a website. Um, it, this is a brilliant program, and yeah. uh, she's very generous in giving us her bonus there. Yeah. Um, also, Rignite has given us a coupon to get 35% uh, off. Right. Um, and that's really awesome. Tabsite has a bonus in there. We have some other kit discounts and coupons we have going up soon. Yep. Um, part of the bonuses uh, section is to have quick access to the basics module. And yeah. this is for people who just need a little refresher course on each of the major social sites. And we do include that in Social Media Manager School. Right, right. Awesome. That was that was great. Lots of good lots of good bonuses in there. Ah, oh, man. Again, I'm again. Just like, uh, again, I'm just super excited. This is a ton of value here. You know, a lot of these courses that I've seen that we've investigated cuz we keep an eye on our competitors. We have seen a lot of courses out there that are offering a lot less than our course and right. and charging more. Oh, I yeah. I've seen courses out there for $1500 for Two thousand dollars. We saw one, I think, for seven thousand dollars. It was just amazing. And we we want people to have access to this because we are extremely passionate about people starting their own businesses. I love some of the things we've been able to do. Some of the lives we've changed in our course. People talking about being able to stay home with their kids who are um, have have illnesses and nothing else has been able to offer that people able to you know pay their rent pay their mortgage when they were um, laid off because they were able to get new clients it's just like I'm gonna get choked up here it's I, like, know, it get, it get, I know it, it gets both of us really happy because um, you know both of us really love to teach and we also love to train but we're also love to coach and we also love it when our students have success. It makes us very, very happy. It makes us feel quite fulfilled in the work that we do. And really, you couldn't ask for more. So we're, we're very grateful to all of our students for sharing with us, um, being you know very open about their situations and their their challenges yeah. and their successes. Yeah. And the Facebook group is a magical place. Um, it's it, a magical place. It's a magical that's, that's, place. That's actually a quote from a very famous TV show. If anybody uh, knows a reference to that, put it in G+. I bet you do. <laughs> um, it, it's definitely a magical place. Yeah, it is. It is. So we have a couple questions. Christy Walker is asking, I'm looking for a good newsletter tool with the ability for readers to transport important event event dates into their Google or Outlook calendars. Yes, well you can do that. It, it happens automatically in any email message that you set up the date and the time correctly. If you if someone views it inside of their Gmail, it will have this kind tiny little dotted underline and if you hover over it, it'll say add to calendar. 
and you say yes please and you click it and then you can edit it inside the calendar boom it's in there yeah so I think and I think isn't there a way to even like force that link a little bit where you can like put exactly what kind of information you want them to add to their oh, calendar. Oh yeah. yeah, there's yeah. lots there's lots of tools around this and yeah. honestly I if you don't know me by now you should know I am definitely <laughs> a Google Universe fan yeah. and um, so you can if you want more information about that those types of systems you know you can uh, private message me or email me or whatever I'm happy to discuss them with you yes but you should definitely do them and you should yeah. definitely have that set up. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Um, so we also have uh, uh, we have one from Robbie saying, "Does any scheduling tool post a link to our page rather than their page, like Post Planner used to do?" Hmm. I'm not sure if I understand. A scheduling tool post a link to our page, maybe our personal account. Not sure. Yeah, Robbie, if you can if you can expand on exactly what you're trying to do there, we can maybe answer that a little bit more. So I'm not so you're you're scheduling um, you're scheduling out a post from your page to your fans. Is that is that what you're doing? And then you're trying to post a link as well. I mean, let us know. We'll definitely try and answer that a little bit further. Elise is asking. Is it an advantage or disadvantage to specialize or work in a niche for marketing? So we we definitely have some thoughts around this. We <laughs> <laughs> we definitely think that if you can niche, if you can really hone your message to a certain group of people, you're going to be more successful. That's just really the bottom line. Um, it. it really it really is. And if you you know, if you and it can be a couple of different ways you do that. Maybe it is um, that you specialize in Instagram marketing. Maybe it is you specialize in a, like um, in only Facebook ads, or maybe you only specialize in a certain segment of the social uh, network, social networks, or maybe it's you help assist restaurants, or you're focused on local businesses, or you're focused on um, authors. So, yeah. <laughs> or, or, and yet there's more, um, you can <laughs> focus on, be, if you love images and you're very talented in that area, you can focus on creating images for all the social sites. Um, and then, uh, see, under that umbrella of social media manager, there are so many ways you can configure this thing. Um, if you look at all of the things a social media manager might do, the list is huge. I mean, it's really huge. Yeah. So you have to look at that and find out where your highest gifts are and then develop those and be very good at those things because it's very difficult to be good at all of them unless you have a team and you can outsource to that team to those people that are very gifted at that. We have a question on G+, um, and uh, it was, is this training to mostly assist other businesses on um, how to develop their own social media or to develop your own social media? For example, I'm interested in consulting, but think it would be fun working with social media business to help develop their business. So social media manager school really helps you in both areas, I think, either to be a consultant or to be an actual manager of social media. I think that's the, the short answer. Anything you want to say about that, Andrea? Well, I think we have, uh, and if I'm if I'm kind of understanding the question correctly, it is it um, for yourself, like you're developing your own your own business, or is it you assisting other businesses? Is that is that, isn't that what yes. you just said? You just said that, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to okay, repeat. Here's that. my party hat. <laughs> no. okay, let's get our party hats on. We forgot. We may or may not wear hats. So I think the um, the uh, the definitely, definitely, I think that we have mostly people who are assisting other businesses and consulting with other businesses. Uh, we do not have as many people who are working. Uh, am I am I losing credibility here? Um, yes. <laughs> All right, all right. Um, no, 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 no. You got to put your party hat on. You got to match the advertising we did. I all know. Week. There it is. There's the party hat. Okay. I I wanted to be a princess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to want. You are. Yes. No. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it is mostly for people who are 
you know, building their business as a social media consultant. But we do have people who are doing a little bit of both because what happens is as you build your own social media, we, and this is what happened with me, is you'll find people who say, can you teach me how to do the same thing? And you can build up a very healthy side business doing this. And we have people who are doing this on the side in addition to other things they might be doing. So you can do this part-time, you can do this full-time. We have a wide variety of people in our course doing um, doing part-time or full-time. So it's so did you hear that, Curtis, over on G+, did you catch that answer? <laughs> that was for you. <laughs> so great, and we've got a couple other questions coming in from the Facebook group as well. Oh, we, we, got, a, we got a gift? We got a party prize? Are we, like no, we don't. We have a party prize coming in just a couple minutes. Soon. Oh, okay. Soon, but we have questions. Oh, okay. So, um, one of the questions is, uh, Malia is asking, where can I find fresh content? Oh, yeah. Well, I have to tell you, we do have a section of that inside of Module 3, inside of Social Media Manager School, and, you know, we can discuss some of those places, but if you have to find fresh content for you or for a client, you know, we already mentioned Post Planner is, yeah. is a really good one, but there are also lots of other ways you can do it. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's, um, you can even do what I one of the tools I like that's very easy is through Google search is really just searching on um, searching on uh, some terms and then using the tools to find only the content within the last month so it's very fresh uh, another thing that you can use are things like um, uh, now smart brief was one tool that pulls content into you. I really like using, um, you know, an RSS feed and just having a set of 10, um, 10 different, 20 different blogs that you're monitoring through the RSS feed because then you don't have to go to each one of those sites to see if they have something new. You can just see it at a glance and say, okay, what are the new things? You can look at the title of it. And um, one of the, um, one of the favorites, uh, uh, tools to pull in um, is now I'm blanking out. I, I'm blanking out on all the names. What is that well, one that the, replaced the good, Google the Reader? Well, the good news is, since we have a document inside the school, that <laughs> thank God go we've got down. a document. <laughs> thank God we've got a document. Because <laughs> <laughs> my can, memory. You can go ahead and the nice thing about our school, I don't know if you can see this because of the size of the type on the on the screen, but. Yeah. Uh, in most of the uh, most of the situations on our school, we have a document. You can download the PowerPoint. We also have the video script um, from the video right. itself, and right. you can watch the presentation. Yeah. So usually, there's so many different ways that you can get the right. content for each of these sections, and yeah. we do have a whole section right, we do. right here on how to get content. Right, so Feedly was the one I was thinking of. That's it, Feedly. All Top is another place to find good content, but yeah, we, have, we have a bunch in there. We have tons in there, tons in there. Yep. So great, we have a winner. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. ding, ding. Elise Van Seyce, Van Seyce uh, is got had, wins a seat in Phyllis's Time Bliss. Yay! Congratulations! So we were, I know. So this, you're gonna love this program. It is awesome. <laughs> It is, uh, it's, first of all, it's $147 value, you know, that's the bonus for coming here on a Saturday afternoon, you win, you win stuff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and that is a great way to get your time organized, and she really covers Google Calendars uh, amazingly well in there and talks about how to schedule everything out, so you're, you know when your time is full. And, and you, uh, you went to say no? which mm -hmm. I'm directing that to a particular person I know. I know. Uh, I know. When to say no. <laughs> and the cool thing about it is the calendar will tell you that. It's not something you have to carry around in your head and figure out, oh, do I have time to do this? It'll be very clear when you look at your calendar and it's booked and it's very easy. There's no heartstrings to have problems with that. You can just say, you know, sometime in April I have some room for this. <laughs> Yeah, I need to. Uh, I do need to be better at saying no. That's I like. I love. I love doing lots of things. So that's my problem. That's my problem. <laughs> so let's see. We have a couple of other questions coming in. Um, 
Uh, Vicki is asking, do we offer guidance on building your business website, something other than WordPress, like Wix or Squarespace? Um, and Malia is saying she's um, used Wix and it's easy to build a site with that and inexpensive. We actually do focus a lot on WordPress and the reason is because it's such a standard tool out there. It is uh, easy it's you know not it's kind of daunting when you're first learning it, but it is uh, really um, kind of I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, chew! Everybody, <laughs> bless you. I know. Wow. <laughs> it is it is kind of a standard that you have to know if you're going to work on clients' websites as well. So I think that we do we do talk about Wix in our Facebook group, especially and some of the other tools we toss around um, and things like About Me, which is a great way to kind of set up a kind of big extended business card but um, we we focus on WordPress yeah and and that comes from years and years of experience but we do test things out and we do know what all of these things do and right. we're still recommending WordPress but I know that a lot of people love it and have very good success with it so it's not like we're not saying to use them it's yeah. just saying that we really like WordPress yeah uh, right Okay, so Robbie is clarifying what his question is, and now I'm totally clear on it. Um, Post Planner ads posted by someone using Post Planner, which links to their page, it used to link to my page. Now, I believe that, and I'm not sure because I know Post Planner not long ago reorganized how they are. Um, their packages, but they did have a premium package that allowed you to, you know, use your own link. So it was posted by you, and it went back to your page, not not theirs. So uh, again, we don't always know every nuance of all the things that they're offering, but that used to be a feature that they had. And I don't know if it's gone away for sure, but definitely I would check with Post Planner on that because I used to do that as well. I would have it. Um, and I think I still do. Maybe I'm still on the premium package. Maybe I'm grandfathered in. But it do, does say posted by me instead of by post planner. And Elise is saying awesome sauce. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and we have another question here on G+. Sally is asking, is there a list of all the jobs a social media manager could do? Do you think we should... I, I'm kind of like, I haven't asked Andrew if we were going to do this or not, and I, there's no way to like secretly ask her without you all hearing, or <laughs> maybe I could chat while I'm smiling at the camera, but... Um, can we go show, this is something new for us, yeah. that when our um, students at the end of the end of when we drop out all the modules, they have the opportunity to take a certificate of completion quiz. It's a 100 point quiz, if you get 80% correct, you're a graduate of our course and you get a certificate of completion. It, it's not a certifying, we're not a certifying organization like a school or a university, but we do give you a certificate of completion. And one once you have that, you're eligible to go to our um, new, I mean like the brand spanking new, we're still working on it, uh, brand spanking new, <laughs> directory. And this is a directory of our graduates. And the reason we built this thing is because Andrea and I get emails all the time. Do you know somebody who can do Facebook ads? And we're like, yeah, like about 500 people. And so now we can yeah. send them to our directory. And they can find people uh, that have gone through our program who also do Facebook advertising. And so the URL on that is socialmediamanagersdirectory.com. Socialmediamanagersdirectory.com, the longest name, domain name ever. Um, but it works great. And you can see the list. I mean, it's not a complete list. It's a yeah. list of things that you could specialize in as a social media manager, just even one of those things you could specialize right. in. Should we show them that? Yeah, let's show them All that. right, well, let, yeah. me, let me pull it up. You can talk about it, and then I'll share it. Okay. All right. Great. So, yeah, basically, it's brand new for us um, just recently. So we're adding more people every day, and we're referring a lot of people um, to it all the time. So, uh, you know, it's kind of a kind of a cool thing, and you can fill out your all your information, what you specialize in, people can search by um, search by uh, uh, 
a type of specialty and it's really nice because you can just you know kind of have your own uh, page there where clients can look check you out we're sending people to that and um, and hopefully we're going to do a little bit of work on getting this out there wider in the in the world so that people come naturally to it through just searching and things like that so Right. So, for example, right here, if there's somebody who really focuses in on, uh, let's say, Facebook advertising, let's just see here. Well, of course, Andrea does. <laughs> Notice that my face is not on this list. <laughs> uh, and we're gonna we're gonna actually remove ourselves from this. We're not we're not trying to get more business for ourselves. We just wanted to show people what's what uh, what's possible. But yeah, we're gonna this is gonna be featuring our uh, our graduates. So right, and then uh, every graduate gets to have this information and what the categories that they're good in. But the question was, what if, is there a list of things? And you can see all the things here on the left that somebody could specialize in, or you could attempt to specialize in ten of these or whatever. Right. So I think that was the whole point of answering yeah. that question. Yeah. I hope, hope you got that, Sally. Yeah. Awesome. So I want to, I, we're getting to, the. I can't believe how fast this has flown. This is awesome. We are getting to the top of the hour and we are going to give away a home study version and I want to I, I don't want to give it away to just anybody <laughs> um, we actually have a lot of our current students on there of course which is wonderful we love you guys um, but we want to we want to get make sure that you are interested in winning this we want to give it away not totally randomly but randomly from the people who want it so if you would like to win a, uh, a seat in our home study course, please just comment and tell us, yes, tell I'd us like why. to win, or tell us why you'd like to win it. Um, you know, just let us know in the comments on Facebook at, or on G+. We're going to, it's equal opportunity. Laura's going to be just putting a finger on a screen somewhere. <laughs> and so um, let us know so we know that you're interested in winning. And we're going to give that away in just a couple minutes, so you have yeah, a time. Yeah, that's a $397 prize. I mean, we know how to throw a party. Yeah, we are. This is a party. <laughs> we got to put the party hats back on at like two or three minutes we until do. the end of the top of the hour for sure. We do. We do. So <laughs> let me just see if there's any other questions. Christy is saying timeless is apparently going to be need to be my next investment. <laughs> so <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So great. So if you do have any last questions, feel free to put those in too. Um, and if you would like to win the course, let us know. Um, we're, what, I guess, uh, do you have any final thoughts on, on uh, how people can become a great social media manager? What, what kind of characteristics do you think are most important? Well, there, there's a couple of things I want to say to that, but I also want to say, you know, that we only open our school twice a year, and the reason for that is that we open the doors, we give away this amazing amount of free information on the free part of our school for about a month. And then we open up our school for only just a few weeks, and and then we close the doors until the next, um, for in this case, in the spring. And the reason we do that is we we drop our modules one at a time, and we um, give people who want to do the school this way opportunity to go through the module that week and have all the questions that come up in the Facebook group. Uh, centered around that particular module. It seems to help with the learning and keeping things organized. But the cool thing is that once you're a member of Social Media Manager School, you have lifetime access to this stuff. Yeah, I mean, that was one of the that? questions that came up. I know. We're, you know what? We've actually been told that this is ridiculous. I know our business coaches. <laughs> They're like, what are they you say, doing? Why are you doing this? They say, nope, you need to charge monthly. You need to you know not you need to pull the access after a year and maybe we'll look at doing that maybe but we just we we really want to get the information to people and we want people to have it we don't want people to feel like they they didn't get to watch it all before they got pulled out so we we really we do yeah. this because we want you to succeed we really do 
Well, uh, even like raise your hand out there if you're a social media manager member who bought the course and then life happened and then six months, eight months later you said, oh yeah, I should go back and do that and then completed the course and got your certificate and now are making money. I mean, there are a lot of people in that boat and if we had closed it up or kicked them out after a month, they wouldn't have had that opportunity and it just, right. you know, it's right. just one of those things. So we're very happy to have that feature in the school right now. So we really want you to take an opportunity and take mm -hmm. care of that for you. Yeah. So good, good. So we're gonna we're, we know there's a tiny bit delay here. So we're just giving people an extra minute or two to make sure we, everyone who wants to win gets their comment in. Um, so uh, yeah, but we we definitely feel like I you know I want to just talk about what it takes to be a great uh, social media manager, and I think really it's a it's a curiosity about about uh, and a a curiosity about what's out there and how things are working. I think it, anyone can do this job. I think that if you love connecting with people, and it doesn't even mean that you're outgoing or introverted or whatever. It, it just really could mean getting out and connecting and, and having that connection for your clients too. That's what social media is about, is really connecting and getting higher exposure for your clients and, and loving and enjoying uh, business. I think that's helpful too. Or, you know, not even business necessarily, it could be an author, but but loving to help other people is a is a key in this business, I think. Yeah, and I do think you still need to have a little bit of intuitiveness about how social sites work. Um, you know, a lot of people come to this and they say, "I have, I, I'm not on Facebook, I'm not on Twitter, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not on LinkedIn." And we're like, ah, "Okay, well, you need to be in those spaces so you understand how they work, so that you can do these for your clients." And that's why we put the basics in our program is that you can come into this program with very little or maybe limited information about a social site and gain more skills around it and then offer that to your clients. Mm -hmm. Right and and we've had a lot of questions of people saying do I need to know everything and no you don't no. that's why that's why we uh, have this school so that you can learn as you go. I mean, that's how I did it as well. You just have to know a little bit more than your clients. <laughs> you have to be curious. I kind of yeah. think curiosity should be one of those things that, yes, if you have a little bit of curiosity in you, this is a good good place for you to be. And also that enjoyment of creativity. Uh, again, something we could talk about for an hour. We yep, have about exactly. 10 topics we could talk about for an hour. This I is know. our last webinar we're giving yes, it is. Uh, before we close the doors on Wednesday uh, at midnight Pacific time, I think. Yes. So, um, you know, people need to make up their minds this time around yeah. and just make it happen so we yeah. can get this party started, yeah. the real party started. Yeah, and and I know that there's been a lot of people who have been in the group saying um, that you'd love to win, and I, I wish we could give away all of, you know, this to everybody, um, but we just, we, we are business people as well. You've got a hat too. Um, and But what we've done is we've made this extremely affordable. We have... We have a two-pay system so that you can, you know, spread the payments out a little bit. And uh, so we've made this really, really affordable. And we really hope that you make this investment in yourself and, and if you're interested in doing this because it's a great program. So I'm super excited. Yay. <laughs> but, yes, please <laughs> join us before October 8th or October 8th at midnight if you want to start um, classes starting. And we're we're really excited. The Facebook group is already hopping, and we're we're really excited about it. So we have a winner. We have a winner. Laura, you know we have a sound effects app that we didn't open dang. up, but oh well. Oh dang! <laughs> Next time. Yes. So Venus Michael uh, over on G. Yay, Venus! Congratulations, congratulations. I know I would love to see you all in the course. We're, it's a really, really fantastic group, and we're super, we're super excited. We hope you join us. And, you know, it, we really, we, we also make a lot of information free. And if you cannot join us at this time, that, that is fine. That is why we have a lot of free information. And what we'd like you to do is take that free information and start working on your business so that when we open this up again in the spring maybe that's when you can join us to really boost your business up start 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 working on your business now um, and if you don't get this information from us 
get it get it from someone. This is really important important stuff to help you build your business, and and we definitely want to make sure that um, we see you successful. That's our main goal. So there's two website URLs you need to write down because we don't have a slide for it, uh, and that is socialmediamanagerschool.com. That's socialmediamanagerschool.com or socialmediamanagerschool.com forward slash open. And the forward slash open site is just all the information and you can just go ahead and decide if you want to be in our home study, our premium, or our platinum programs. And, you know, there's a ton of information on there. It talks about all the modules. I mean, we only did a little sneak peek of some of the modules, but all the modules, what's in them, there's lots of testimonials there, lots of information. And if you go to the socialmediamanagerschool.com, all by itself, you can get all the free information we talked about by joining our email list and you'll have access to those things. But that stuff goes away on October 8th at midnight too, correct? It is. Yes, it does. So you got to do that part quick. Yep. Go grab it. All right. This has been fun. We I love, love doing hats. this. <laughs> I like the party hats. I know, I know. Thank you, everyone. You got asked such great questions. We really appreciate it. And if you joined us late or anything like that, we win that um, in that information with all the other free stuff. We'll have it available there too. And we really, really hope to see you join us on October by October eighth in in the full course. And uh, if not, we're we'd love to see you in the spring. So plan on that. <laughs> all right. Bye, everybody.